you're not ready to say that as this investigation oh, that proceeds. Is, oh, that is not uh, at all what I have said. Uh, one cannot weaponize a horse uh, to aggressively attack a child. That is unacceptable. That is not what our policies and our training require. Please understand, let me be quite clear. Um, that is not acceptable. We will not tolerate mistreatment. And we will address it with full force based on the facts that we learn. Okay, what did you think when you saw this? When you saw this behavior on the port, on the part of the agents, when you saw them yelling at migrants, which, by the way, I would like to play part of what we saw, what we're witnessing on the border. Hey, you use your women? Is this why your country Did you use your women for this? You go, go, that way. Secretary, what was your initial reaction when you saw these things? I was horrified by what I saw. I'm going to let the investigation run its course, but the pictures that I observed troubled me profoundly. That defies um, all of the values that we seek to instill in our people. And I will tell you, I saw the values that we do instill in our people in exhibition when I visited under the bridge and saw them work with the American Red Cross, the Department of Health and Human Services, World Central Kitchen, in addressing the needs of a vulnerable population of migrants under the bridge in, El, in Del Rio. That reflects who we are, and any mistreatment or abuse of an individual defies the, our values and who we are and what we stand for. Uh, under that bridge in Del Rio, where you were, you, you have what is, uh, I mean, it, it, it's a refugee camp that is under and around the bridge. How quickly can you clear that knowing that there are more migrants coming? So we have um, moved approximately 4,000, perhaps uh, more, 4,000 migrants from under that bridge already. We are moving more migrants very quickly to other processing centers so that we can ensure their security and safety and the security and safety of the community. Uh, we are repatriating individuals. We expect to see dramatic change in the next 48 to 96 hours. Okay, uh, and so deportation flights to Haiti have resumed. How many flights a day do you think, how many migrants will be deported uh, under Title 42? So we expect uh, four flights uh, to, to depart uh, today. We are working very closely uh, with Haiti and other countries to which the migrants are being repatriated. Uh, we have an obligation to um, execute on the Title 42 authority, which is a public health authority in a time of pandemic that is held by the Centers for Disease Control. As you were looking at these scenes, and you were there, is this a crisis? Let, let, me, um, let me share with you uh, quite clearly. It is heartbreaking to see, because what we are seeing is vulnerable individuals having been deceived by smuggling in, uh, organizations and misinformation take the perilous journey north when we have been quite clear that it will not be successful and that is not what they should do. It is heartbreaking to see these individuals. It is a human tragedy and we are addressing it as best we can. On, under the laws that we are employing now. This is really, this is something we haven't seen before. A, this camp inside of the United States with thousands of people.